Just uploaded the giveaway video for the 100,000 subscribers. That's cool. Today, I've got just some random knife making stuff. I've got a couple knives to grind. I've got a couple knives I'm gonna try and put some scales on. Uh, my wife is taking all these sanding blocks that were ordered. She's taking those to the post office. Thank you, honey. Got a little animal work to do. I might even have a little bit of bobcat work to do if it cools off and if I get everything else done. But uh, I'm just gonna kinda take you along. I'm gonna let the cameras roll and see what happens. I just got off of a Skype conversation with a YouTuber that you may or may not have heard of. Uh, his name is Alex Steele. Yeah, Alex Steele. Uh, we just were talking about some, some things more like business side of YouTube stuff, but man, that guy, I mean, he's definitely got this incredible channel. I love his channel. Uh, so talented, so much energy, and genuinely, you know, talking to him on the phone, he has just as much energy and excitement and uh, kindness as he does in his videos. So if there's like some remote chance on earth you've never heard of his YouTube channel, Channel. I'm gonna link it in the description below. You need to go watch some of his stuff. First, cancel your cable subscription, any, anything like that, because you're gonna be thoroughly entertained with this amazing content that he brings out every single day. Anyways, I gotta get back to work. So I'm getting like way ahead of myself. I haven't finished off these surfaces yet and I haven't marked my grind lines so I know where to grind to. I'm not ready to put bevels on these yet. Okay, okay. Got all these finished up a little nicer and they're all nice and flat. I also hit them with some sandpaper so that they sit on the granite surface plate really nice and flat. Now we're gonna take our super duper knife maker scribe, set this little thing up, mark ourselves some grind lines. we've got a reference point to grind to. Might help if I actually grab this thing. Check out this temperature again, like what's going on? That is a toasty day in the shop. But we grind on. So I've got these uh, rough ground, roughly profiled. I just need to make this hole bigger and then these suckers are ready for heat treat. I haven't put the bevels on these yet. I had to finish the stock down because the finish that came with this stuff isn't one that I was super crazy about. So I just ground them down a little bit and then we'll go ahead and uh, countersink these holes a touch. Bevel them, uh, probably do these tomorrow. But I actually might take one of these suckers and put scales on it. I'm not sure, it might be kind of interesting. But in order to finish countersinking these, I need my milling machine. That's where I like to do my countersinking. And it is set up for sanding blocks. These are the sanding blocks I have left to do. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and while I've got this set up, I don't wanna take down my setup and then put it back together. So I'm just gonna finish these off real quick. Doesn't that look fun? All that just back and forth, back and forth. So much fun. But you know what? They're coming pretty good. The one thing we have left, let me go over here so focus. Uh, we just gotta put this little groove around this side now. So that is the last step of this process. 
And then these suckers are pretty much right. I still have to do a little hand finishing on them, a little touch-ups here and there. But these are, I would say, 90% done at this stage. Alright guys, I just had an epic fail. Really hot in here again, it's like 40 degrees Celsius in here. I put the fan beside me, like right beside me. I plugged it in, but I forgot to turn it on. Like I'm actually soaking. My, my t-shirt is like soaking wet and the whole time I, I plugged the fan in, I put it up right beside me, and I forgot to turn it on. Oh man. Why didn't I turn the fan on? Oh man, that is fantastic. <laughs> Why didn't I turn the fan on? Oh well, the good news, the good news is we got these all done. Also, since all those signing blocks are like this close to being finished, uh, I've got no issues with getting them done. I'm always nervous about, always a little bit nervous about doing pre-orders because what if you're machining and you, you say, okay, the delivery date is this date and then your machine breaks down and it's like, I would hate that situation. Everything from here is just packaging and materials I have. I just need to put in like another hour or two and those are ready to ship. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these again uh, for sale on my website. There's only 10. But I'm gonna put these 10 for sale and they will be shipping on Friday, August the 25th. But for right now, my water tank is full. It's been full for several hours, so I better take that back down to the horses. I might see if my drone would be interested in following me. Uh, see if we can get some interesting shots of me driving through a construction site on a tractor with a water tank. Uh, this was my Slurpee cup. It was all empty, but a little fly went in there. <laughs> And I have them trapped. Uh, you remember last week I got my super fly swatter and I'm at like a major war with flies. This little sucker's gonna have a nice slow death. Slow slurpy death. That's what you get for coming into my shop. So I live in a huge agricultural part of the world. Beef, we have beef, mostly beef everywhere around here. All my neighbors have cows. And uh, with agriculture, like beef, uh, there's actually a feedlot. Well, it's not close enough. Not close enough for me to ever smell it anyways, but with all these animals, we have a lot of flies and... Oh man, doesn't that not look delicious? Uh, that is actually a bacon wrapped venison steaks and the deer was actually one that I shot as a big mule deer I got last fall with my bow. And uh, that actually reminds me that in uh, about two weeks, just under two weeks, it is actually archery season will open in certain parts of Alberta here. On the weekend, I went and grabbed my bow for my parents, so I need to do, uh, just make sure my bow is still sighted in, uh, do a little practice shooting, make sure I'm still good to go, and then hunting season is on. Really excited about that. And it is uh, six o'clock in the evening now. Get out of here, fly. 
It's six o'clock in the evening now. I'm gonna shut it down, go have some wonderful dinner with my family. Beautiful evening here. Maybe we'll head out for a nice walk down our gravel road. I hope you guys had a wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe to the channel. You can do that by clicking on this little circle right here, this little black circle that will actually subscribe you to the channel. And beyond that, I'm gonna leave a couple videos up here for you. Maybe we'll do playlists or videos. I'm not sure. We do knife make vlogs. I'm not sure, but there'll be a couple, uh, couple other things you can click right here. Enjoy those and thank you so much for watching. Cheers.